may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! <coughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video. Make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. I hope everybody out there is having a pleasant Friday. The weather's a little cool and nipply here, but it seems to be a lot better in different places. But right now, the big news that I got earlier is that the B-1 bombers have left the United States. They're in the air. Don't know where they're going, but if I was a betting man, it's probably towards the Middle East. This war with Iran looks like it's getting closer and closer each and every day. That's what we tell you to keep an eye on the sky. Listen for that shofar. We know we can't be too far off with everything that's happening, but none of us is going to guess that day. But we do know we're definitely in the last season with everything that's happening. So everybody just kind of go, get as many people on that ark as possible. That's what I've been doing. I've been going to and fro, talking to different people. Telling them about how little time they have remaining here. You know, I've had a lot of things on my mind, what I want to do and things I like to do. And I'm still in the back of my mind. I know well, I can go ahead and start doing things. But I've got to remind myself that while I'm doing it, is trying to get as many people on the ark as possible. So I go about my business and do the things I need to do to live here, to live, you know, the best life I can. But in the back of my head, I'm constantly trying to get people on the ark no matter where I go. And you guys I know are doing the same thing. This war with Iran is coming very soon, I do believe. They've already voted on uh, targets to hit. And some are saying that they can hit targets inside of Iran itself. And I've come to believe that Iran possesses weapons, courtesy of Kim Fisher. I do believe they possess nuclear weapons. I think they're going to keep it on the down low until the last very moment. We won't be here to see that. Thank God. We will be in a much better place. But it says U.S. heavy bombers took off from the continental U.S. earlier today uh, en route to the Middle East for a mission. Huge aircraft. See, those are huge aircraft and very fast. Whatever is going to take place in the Middle East in retaliation for the deaths of the three U.S. soldiers last week in Jordan is likely to take place within hours. Whatever targets these aircraft are being sent to hit will not exist on the planet very much longer. Other B-1 bombers apparently took off at 10.30 Eastern Time, U.S. Time, for Lincoln's Health Air Base in the U.K. The U.S. Uh, or, let's see, the U.S. are hours behind the Rival of the UK deployed B-1 bombers. Two rounds of U.S. heavy bombers. This is going to be very big. It says approximately, uh, approximate air defense from uh, Lackish Heath to, let's say, Damascus, Syria is about 4,650 kilometers. The typical cruising speed for the B-1 is 647 miles per hour, which converts to 141 uh, so if the B-1 took off from UK, it's about 10.30 this morning. It's also hours from UK to Syria at the aircraft's typical cruising speed. This makes the projectile, uh, projected uh, arrival time in Syria, Iraq region, less than one hour from now, which is 1.41 p.m., which is already passed here. Uh, if, however, these planes stepped up their travel speed, this could be going on, could be a boom in the Middle East right now. So, with all these things happening, with now these targets being approved by U.S. Congress to be able to strike these Iran targets, and as you've seen in the thing, once again, Damascus becomes a major player in all this. We all know what happens to Damascus. We all know it's going to be leveled within an hour. Could this be it? 
These are questions that we're asking ourselves each and every day because of the April 8th solar eclipse, which I think is a very important sign of what's coming. I don't know, but the more I think about it, this X that marks the spot of the United States is getting closer. What are we? Let's see, less than two and a half months from whatever is going to happen. And I do believe April 8th is a warning to America that that would be the downfall. That's when it starts. But we don't know that. That's not so saith the Lord. That's so saith Chris. And I can always be wrong because I'm a man and I make mistakes. But I am watching it along with many other watchers to see what God has warned us about when it comes to April the 8th. Many of us pray that it's the rapture itself. Heck, we pray that the rapture is tomorrow to get us off this planet because it's falling apart. But literally, I do believe with the numbers of the, the last time this solar eclipse happened in the United States, the 6666, all the way up um, in the math. You can't make this stuff up, people. You can't make it up. All And it just so happens that all this stuff's happening right before it. What's happening with Israel, what's happening with us and Iran, us and Russia. It's not coincidence, people. People can keep saying coincidence is all you want. But something's happening. And we know what it is. We're coming to the end, finally. Everything's lined up that way. Everything is. The question is, what side are you on? Trust the gospel, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, future, died, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. You're running out of time, but you got to trust the blood. The blood is the only thing that's going to get us out of here. And right now, the Christians are in war about the blood. It's a sad day. But many's going to tell you you can lose your salvation. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. Jesus doesn't let go of his. If you're his, he's going to hold on to you. God promised him you. He's taken you. You can bet on that. He knows where all his sheep is at every moment of the day. Ain't that awesome? Can I get an amen? So I want you to perk that little head up. Because the more we see, the better it looks for us getting out of here. Because the rapture is real and it is coming. And you are the generation that will absolutely, a thousand percent, see the rapture with your own eyes. That's right. You was placed in the most important time in history. And you guys have definitely heard the call. And you stood up and you made a difference. So don't ever think you're not important in the whole scheme of this. That's why God brought you here. If you came to this channel, God brought you here to hear these words. To know that you're doing a great job, that you're awake, and that's what's important. You don't have to be the richest person in the world, but I may tell you something right now as you hear me speaking. If you're awake, you're the wealthiest person in the world, because there ain't many of us that are awake in these last days. And let me tell you something, most of the world is still absolutely asleep. With everything that's happened and all the warning signs, they still sleep and slumber. So thank God today that you're not one of those. That makes us a very lucky few. Like Noah and his family, we know what's coming. And now we just get people on the ark and be ready. As little scholar would say, be ready. Because we're definitely coming up on the season. Somewhere in this Gaza war, and I do believe they'll be at war with Lebanon very, very soon, because it's starting to look that way. It could be any minute now. And I do honestly believe they're going to take the Temple Mount back before Passover. I think they will definitely make a try for it. I just got to feel it'll come out of nowhere. But I'm watching for that because it's the only thing that makes any, I'm trying to make sense out of it. What will turn the other three countries that's on Israel's side away from them is taking that Temple Mount back. And that gives you your Psalms 83 war. Because right now we're three short. Egypt, Jordan, and Saudi Arabia. That's all we're short because all the Arab nations will come. And the reason they'll come is so God can give Israel peace for three and a half years to be able to sacrifice on the Temple Mount once again. 
That's why you're seeing everything. This is not the United States versus Russia, Ukraine, and all that stuff. You forget that stuff. What you're seeing is a war between Lucifer and God himself. And the chess pieces are on the, ch on the board. All you got to do now is watch them go back and forth. God's always 10 steps ahead. But right now, Lucifer is getting all his chips out there to get them lined up for the Antichrist. Because he knows what's happening. He knows this is his time. He knows. And that's why you're seeing so many strange and unusual things. Portals opening up. Animals going in circles. You name it. It's all there. UFOs everywhere. All over the planet. Huge. Some of them the size of 40 football fields. All this is playing into this latter day war between God and this world. We already know who wins. But the millennial reign is right around the corner. Well, I said, no man can fix the earth's problems now. Only the true king of all the Jews, the Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua himself, is the only one that can fix the world. And he will very, very soon. I love each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.